Good day everybody, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. It's Saturday, November 24th, late in the day. It gets dark a lot earlier uh, as we get closer to winter. And um, got a great, great video for you today. Um, I accumulated, I grabbed some stuff that I picked during the week. And as the thumbnail says, can I sell meat on eBay? Stay till the end. You're not going to believe what I got to show you. I can't believe I got this, and I can't believe that it sells on eBay for big money. And you'll see what I mean near the end. Um, just a long day today, guys. My internet went kapoop yesterday, and I got a new modem, and it kept on crashing. And I had the tech rep here for the internet company. Uh, I think he got here at um, 11 o'clock this morning, and he left at 4.30, and just a mess. I had to basically hook everything back up. Uh, no help at all, but uh, that's what happens when you get new installers and people that are coming into people's houses during COVID. So anyways, I, got, I think I got it all straightened up and uh, I'll download this video tonight and also keep an eye out for Studs and Duds, another one coming up. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow, which is Sunday or Monday. Um, some good stuff sold and um, interesting. And I'm working on something else on an eBay re return. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. Uh, I'm going to wait till Tuesday and I want to see what happens with, to the case before I share it with you. So it's going to be an interesting midweek video on, on that. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well. So here we go. No particular order. And as Christmas is coming and you guys know I like to collect things like this. This is from 2005. If you can see it, it's a very, very cool NASCAR. Minnie Mouse car, uh, Indianapolis 500 it looks like, and the car's number 05, uh, I think I got it for $7.99, uh, I'm going to put it on for about 30, 30, 35 bucks, nice quick flip, box has a little bit of damage to it, but the car is in excellent condition, so that should go no problem, um, first off, Carl, thank you for sending me what I needed to test these, thank you so much, uh, I did test this one and this one does not work. So I appreciate that. I'm going to keep that item in my uh, little box here. And when I find more of these, uh, I will test them, but I really, really appreciate it. All right, next, let's keep going here. Um, as again, I like to pick things like up because Christmas is coming. This is, um, and I want to give you a hint. And this one here is not as much money as a very similar one in wording of this brand. This is Air Hogs RC, and this is Fire Wing. Now this is a different Fire Wing. This is Fire Wing Sport Flyer. This is brand new sealed. If you find the Fire Wing, it's a different one. It's a clear bo box. It looks like a bird. That You're looking at about a $150 toy to sell. Uh, I picked this up for five bucks, and uh, I think I got a listed 69 I think I gotta double check but it's nice it's sealed nice and light and a great great item to sell for the holiday season now as you all know I like to sell weird weird electronic things I like to find and I get good money for them now I found this this is to I guess hook up your computer to two monitors it's a Matrox M-A-T-R-O-X dual head to go adapter so kind of, if you see back there, I hope you zoom in on it, take it, it comes with all the wires, and then I guess you can have two screens on your desk, and this is the adapter. This brand new, um, when it came out, we were talking about 300 bucks. Now, this is an open box, it's complete. Um, it looks like it's working fine, uh, no issues with it. I paid $7 for it, found it at a value village sitting in the corner. I opened it up and when I scanned it with my phone, I couldn't believe it. I think I got it on for 80 bucks because it's an open box. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can sell it. I love selling things like this. Next, as Christmas is coming um, and I took it out of the box to show you, I love finding these. This is a retired Costco uh, Lighted Santa Workshop. Uh, see if you can see that. And I picked this up for about 12 bucks. And I don't know if you could see, just in front of the fireplace there, I'm going to zoom in, there's two little elves, and there's like a uh, mirror. 
But when you turn it on, oh, actually, maybe I can turn it on and show you how it works, guys. It's right here. I took it out. And uh, here it is here. It's pretty cool. You see them turning? Very, very cool. Please wish you a Merry Christmas. Very nice wooden bottom. Very, very nice for Christmas. Um, I think I, I think I put it on, or I haven't put it on yet. I want to list it for about sixty nine dollars. Um, Camera Girl One, uh, you know those the ceramic uh, Christmas trees that light up. Camera Girl One just sold one. Uh, she picked up for nothing. Uh, I think she paid. She sold it for fifty or sixty bucks the other day. I still have that one I showed you guys in the box. I haven't sold it yet, but I just started moving my heavier inventory. Um, like that uh, dog crate that I showed you guys to Facebook Marketplace to try to unload it. So next what we have, and I have found one of these before and I knew what it was. Uh, actually the Value Village that had it in the showcase, they had 20 something dollars on it. And uh, when I said to the girl, can I see the winder? She didn't know what I was talking about and here it is. It's a diplomat. This is for winding watches. Very expensive watches. Now, this one here does four watches and then it stores. I don't want to knock it over, but it stores, and there's the plug. It stores five more. Um, this one, brand new, if it was in the box, you're talking close to, to close to 200, over 200 bucks. Uh, because it's got a couple of nicks in it, uh, I don't have the key for it. Uh, I, got it I think I got it on for $79. Uh, that's what these are. If you find them, guys, they sell very, very well. Um, watch collectors uh, that have multiple um, watches that wind on their own, they, they want these. All right, now second from last, and then we're going to get to that find I told you about uh, earlier. Um, I've been looking for one of these forever. I keep seeing them on the sold listings. I see the money that people get for them up to $1,000. I'm not going to get it on this one, but this was sitting for $12, Value Village in uh, Oakville, Ontario. Very, very late in the day. I can't believe it was gone. I've tested it, it works amazing, and it's heavy as heck. Panasonic Boombox, AM, FM, cassette, two cassettes, and also, hold on, it's kinda heavy. Get it, get it, get it. And it's got a CD player. It's got the heavy bass system to it. I looked this up over 200. So, sell, sold on eBay over 200. The model number, and I'm going to read it to you, is a Panasonic, uh, I don't know if I can see it, RXT DT670. Now, I don't know if it was, had a remote with it at the time, but um, this, you know how I know nobody tested it? The speaker wires weren't hooked up to the, to the, to the unit. So when I got it home, I figured, hey, I'm going to take it. If it's a $200 boombox, for sure. If it doesn't work, I could probably sell it for parts or repair. But uh, it did work fortunately, and I'm so stoked. Go in your app, take a look at Boombox, or whatever they used to call them. Uh, they used to call them ghetto blasters or boomboxes or whatever back in the 80s and early 90s. The the old JVC ones, they if they're, you find them working, you can get a grand for them, guys. 800, 900 bucks all over the place. So that was a cool find. I've been looking for one of those forever. Now, wait till you see this. When I saw this sitting there, I did a double take and I went, what? What the hell's that? Check this out, guys. If you can see it. Roast beef on a tray with drippings, a carrot, and asparagus. Check that out. Now, I paid 10 bucks for this. Well, that's 20 percent actually less 30 i got it at during uh seniors day they gave me a seniors discount at that store um i looked it up and i looked up fake food then i went to the sold, sold comps i looked at roast beef or roast pork or, or you know fake vegetables go to your phones and take a look at the sold comps on fake food your mom you're not going to believe it you're not going to believe it there's a chocolate cake on there that sold for four hundred dollars now, this type with the metal tray is all over the place. But I bought, like I said, I bought this $9.99 less 30, I think I said, yeah. I, I have this listed for $100 right now, just to see what happens. 
I cannot believe there's a market for fake food props like this. So if you do find them guys out there, pick them up. Pick these things up. I'll let you know what it sells for in a future episode of Studs and Duds. But even if I get 50 bucks for it, guys, come on. It's just, uh, look at, I can't believe how great this thing looks. But I had a I tricked camera girl once, she came home and I had it on the in the kitchen table and she goes, oh, what's for dinner? Roast beef. And she went to touch it. She goes, what's this? It's plastic, but what, very well made. But there you have it, guys. <laughs> You got any comments about fake food or the watch rinder or any of the other items I've got I've list shown you today? Please leave them down below and I'll answer the best I can. Um, I'm trying to think of any comments stand out this week, not in particular. Uh, I answered almost all of them, so um, I think I got to get to a few more. I'll do that later today once I get this video done. But guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber as always and until next time it's Chris from Chris's treasure chest I hope you enjoyed the video